Green Biofuel Switzerland is a company that hasn't been very transparent lately. The company is not revealing any information about the latest developments in its biggest project. Things were quite different four years ago though, when the company representative was quite willing to talk to Swiss television. Here, near the town of Bad Zorzach in northern Switzerland, he announced the building of a gigantic plant which would produce 135 million litres of biodiesel annually, enough to cover Switzerland's entire biodiesel demand. If everything goes according to plan, we'll be producing the first biodiesel in 2010. Green Biofuel intended to import the necessary raw materials from Mozambique. This corporate video shows workers planting Jatropha, a plant whose seeds are highly rich in oil and best suited as a raw material for biofuel. But now that growing crops for fuel instead of food is more controversial than ever, green biofuel is said to be considering using old cooking oil as its raw material. The Swiss government exempts this fuel from its petroleum tax. A company saves 25 cents per litre. But the production must meet minimum social standards. For the time being, Green Biofuel Switzerland will not comment on its new strategy because it wants to negotiate with investors and customers behind closed doors, it says. But where will green biofuel get all the old cooking oil it needs, since the Swiss procurement market is far too small? Will the company source it on the international market, thousands of kilometres away from Europe? Old cooking oil from overseas could help Switzerland meet its clean air targets. But the market for old cooking oil is tricky. A company which has a lot of experience in this field is Petrotec, Germany's largest biodiesel producer. In procuring raw material, it says caution is needed. It's very difficult to produce biodiesel from old cooking oil because it comes from waste and there are different qualities. I have two examples here. One is bright, the other is dark. Since they come from different sources, they must be treated differently. Petrotech collects its own old cooking oil or buys it from certified companies that guarantee traceability of the raw material. The company avoids anonymous and cheap goods from overseas. Previously, the company operated less carefully when it could not resist cheap prices from China, but regretted it. We cannot afford to buy something that may have been tampered with or not even be cooking oil at all. We've learned from experience when we got a product which was of poor quality. It contained substances which didn't belong in there, like water. Since then, we are very careful with imports. On the old cooking oil market, there are many dubious dealers. False declarations are not uncommon. Last year alone, the European Anti-Fraud Authority lost 32 million euros worth of tariffs. This is the dirty side of biodiesel. Forests are burned down to make room for plants to use in biodiesel production. It can't be completely ruled out that this kind of fresh oil could also enter Switzerland, possibly mixed with reused cooking oil. The Swiss supervisory authority, however, is confident about keeping everything under control. There are various ways to distinguish fresh vegetable oil from used vegetable oil. One is a chemical analysis, where you can basically say what's old and what's new. The next option is to audit firms. For imports, we can ask for help and confirmation from the foreign authorities in question. Meanwhile, after changing its strategy a couple of times, Green Biofuel's big project is gaining momentum thanks to old cooking oil and state subsidies.